Tonight, hundreds of thousands of families living in Texas coastal counties are facing the possibility of a hefty insurance rate hike. The Texas Windstorm Insurance Association voted today to increase rates by 10%. Marcelina Benito is in the newsroom with a closer look for us. Marcelina. Well, Mia, this will affect a whole lot of people. If you live or own a business in one of these 14 Texas coastal counties and a small sliver of Harris County and you get insurance through the Texas Windstorm Insurance Association, your premium is one step closer to going up. But Texas lawmakers are vowing to fight it. Down on Galveston Island. When you talk about hikes, increases, you're hurting people. Tweeish board heard hours worth of pleas from lawmakers and constituents. We just cannot afford this increase. Residents stressing how this windstorm insurance hike would devastate their already strained budgets. I'm going to use the heavenly vernacular of hell. Oh, hell no. Tweeish board ignored the pleas, voting six to three to pass the 10% rate hike anyway. Look, it's devastating to our homeowners and small businesses up and down the Gulf Coast. State Senator Mays Middleton says this hike could make living and working along the Gulf Coast untenable for many families. Right now, there are about 250,000 TWIA policies in coastal Texas. The average home premium is $2,300 a year. This hike would add $230. This is a real impact in people's bottom line. And look, it goes to the affordability issue because the cost of everything is skyrocketing. TWIA tells us the hike is necessary, that current rates are falling way short of covering TWIA's expenses. The nearly 27,000 claims filed after Hurricane Barrel are only making the situation more dire. Senator Middleton says a bipartisan group of state lawmakers plan to fight against this. The next steps are get with our coastal legislators to make our voice heard and ask our Texas Department of Insurance Commissioner to stop this 10% rate increase. Texas Insurance Commissioner Cassie Brown will have the final say on this rate hike. She has until October 15th to make a decision. If she does sign off on it, it would go into effect in January of 2025. Back to you. We'll take it from here. Thank you so much, Marcelino.